Hello and welcome to Infinity. We're now looking at the new features in version 2.1 of Affinity Photo. In the previous video in this set, we gave an overview and how you could look at more detail. Here we're going to look at the detail of individual controls. So let's start with the balanced dashed line. We got the pink picture here of for Affinity Photo. And so that means it is relevant as well as designer and publisher. So let's go to Affinity Photo. And we're going to take a rectangle. And we're just going to draw it up here. And to do dashed lines, we've got a stroke here. The color's black, that's fine. But we want to click on the none here and go to the dashed line here. We can't see it yet because we need to increase this or make it big enough or you can always zoom in to see it when it, if it's smaller. And you can see immediately that it's actually nicely balanced here. The corners look sort of even and the lines in between. So and even if I take this here and drag it, it is quite neat. And it's keeping it neat is, is an important element when doing dotted lines, dashed lines. Down here you can change it, the numbers here the first two is going to give you the size of the line and the gap. So if I increase these, I can increase the gap, for example, just by rolling the mouse wheel on it. You can also take the line underneath here and drag it and it goes up 0.1 at a time. It won't go to zero because you need some gap, but at the moment you can't see it because it's such a thick line. So we'll just leave it at one there. The other pairs here, this lets you change subsequent ones so you can actually change that have set patterns of different dots and dashes along here so you can have a very different shape to this and if you want the to go back to default just set set back to one one and zeros and this one here will set it to a balanced position so that's the improvement in the dotted lines so for this to reset it, just click that back here and set that to a solid line because it remembers it. So next time you come to it, it will still be something that is kind of useful. Close that up. Look at the next one. Vector flood fill tool. No pink Finity photo, so it's only here for designer. Running heads. It's only for publisher, so close that up. Show hide special characters. We can do this one, because this has got Affinity Photo. So let's have a look. So here, let's go to this and we'll make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. Go to the, here, the frame text tool. And I'll just draw a frame in here so I can type in this. I can now type and let's hit shift enter and that forces a new line. Then hit enter for an enter paragraph. And notice here it automatically wrapped because it hit the side here. So if I just change this, see that automatic wrap. So I've got different ways that the line is, is being broken. But I can't actually see here, so it would be nice to be able to see this. So the way to do that is go to the text here, go down to the bottom, there's a new entry here, show special characters. Click on that, and I scroll in and we can see here, I've got a little arrow here to for that shift enter forced new line. This symbol here to say here's a new paragraph, because I hit enter. And here's this double S here at the end of the text. And I can always go text and show special characters, turn that off. But those ones in blue, I'll notice also there was a dot between for spaces. So any of those special ones, effectively the white space, as it's sometimes called, it, those never print. Those are only to show you on screen what those things are. So I can now just go back up to here, close that down here. And I'll do one more here. And look at this auto select toggle plus selection options. Oh, that's not 
in Affinity Photo, so I'll close that up. And next time we'll start from looking at the blend mode keyboard shortcuts. Thank you very much for watching.